Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be on Aquatic Divide. And this will be a bit of a change of pace. We're going to have a 2v2 match. I haven't actually shown any 2v2 matches, though team matches are fairly popular in Zero K. But most of been focusing on 1v1s because they are well, easier to follow, for one thing, and also are a bit more your typical competitive play. But 2v2 matches are good as well, and I think 3v3s would also be sensible. I think 4v4 is probably the maximum at which it starts to become completely chaotic. But 2v2 should work fine. So let's start it up. We're going to be watching Masuk and 400 versus Resign Man and the Sponge. Resign Man, also known as S Fire Man, and if you anyone who's played 0K is watching this should know who that person is. So we have Masuk and 400 starting it with shields and. Actually, 400 not quite going for a factory quite yet, while Shieldbot and Spiderbot being built up for Resign Man and the Sponge. Now, Resign Man is very quickly getting Weaver not going for any quick Raider units, whereas that's what the Sponge is taking care of. Being that it's a team match, of course, one player can just go for the early Raiders, and this map is fairly small, so early raiding is going to be an effective option. Now... You gotta be kidding me. Anyway... Now, early raiding is something that is, of course, always effective in 0k. There's no reason not to raid early on in 0k, unless it's a large map that you can't do it on. But this map, it's a, it's especially effective, though, given that there are probably Venoms coming up fairly soon for Resign Man, it's going to be hard to raid against 2 It's always hard to raid against 2v2. Harder than it is in 1v1. But it's still worth doing, and Spiders and Shields for both players... Looks like 400 is going forward to the attack with the fleas, whereas Resign Man is setting himself up for just an ambush with a bunch of fleas, which is more typically how you use them. And there is that venom I was looking for. It looks like the sponge able to successfully defend against Masuk's bandits, or at least some of them. One of them able to get in and start damaging the weaver, but it is able to destroy it. That weaver going down, so one builder gone down, another builder... That's 200 metal right there. And the venom is going down before it's even produced. Very smart there, because that Venom would stop the Bandit rush in its tracks. And a bunch of Fleas able to scout out Resign Man, completely aware of everything coming out of Massacre and 400's base. While the Sponge, able to well, defend his side well enough. It looks like Resign Man also able to defend himself well enough, but it's... He did lose those Venoms, he did lose that Weaver, so Resign Man a little bit behind. However, the Sponge might be able to pick up the slack. He is going for the Shield Bots. The Shield Bots are much more the opening factory in this case. They are the, going to be the ones defending, really. thing is, spider bots work well in the late game, and they work well for scouting. As you can see, these fleas are basically operating as map hack. The problem is they are quite frail early on. Now, once you get up later on, especially once you get crabs, once you start getting an army of crabs, then spiders really shine. Although, even before then, the ambush potential is huge. But, shield bots, that's what you have to defend in the early game. And shield bots are what we see both players using. Of course, cloakies would also work fairly well, but shield bots are a bit more of a solid option as far as defensiveness goes. I am a little bit surprised neither player went for cloaky, however. It's just one of those things that I would have expected to have happen. But apparently neither player has. This is on the newest, or next to newest version, so the cloaky bots have had the nerf from the one, version 1.1.7. So cloaky bots are roughly on par with them, but I guess both players just really wanted to have the strong bandits early on rather than having to worry about micromanaging the glaives while the other player has to micromanage fleas. And I can see that. I definitely can understand why they do that. Anyway, Venoms with some hermits coming in for harassing, only getting at fleas, not really doing a whole lot. The fleas go down to anything, so that's not a big deal. Just eliminating some of 400's scouting potential. Now, Resign Man still has a lot of scouts over to the northeast side of the map, but not really able to see what's going on other than a couple metal extractors. He did see the army movements that he wanted to, though, and both players... Both teams, I should say, have set up a front. And the Sponge is going first to attack, get, setting up his shield bots, setting up his bandits, I should say, forward. And now getting some thugs. I'm a little surprised it took him a while to get the thugs, though. Actually, I'm a little surprised he hasn't got any outlaws. I would almost expect that, to get some outlaws, especially against spider bots, just because fleas being as weak as... Well, not just fleas, but everything being as weak as they are, but as fast as it is, the slow effect of outlaws would probably help balance that out. And then give bandits a chance to catch up and deal with them. Bandits are slower than fleas, considerably. Granted, 
really, once the fleas are found, they're dead. So it's not a big deal. However, it looks like the sponge is just setting up defensive front, trying to make sure that Masa can't get close in, and also... Okay, a rogue is built up. It will be somewhat effective if these units stay bunched up, and they are, and unfortunately for the sponge, the fact that they're bunched up has caused them to not be able to shoot through each other. Units cannot shoot through each other in 0k, which means all those bandits there could have stayed alive if the sponge had gone for line moves instead of going for just grouping. But unfortunately he went for a straight grouping, which means that they couldn't actually deal with each other. And there is that outlaw I was talking about. Though it is dealing with the shield side, not the spider side. That being said, there isn't really a spider side at this point. 400 is building up a few venoms towards his north side of the map and some recluses. So, stun and barrage. Very typical strategy. If he moves these venoms in and actually stuns these guys out right now, it might work, though. It's really a matter of whose venoms can hit first. Now, since Resign Man has more venoms, I'd imagine that he'd just have the advantage, since even if he loses, even if it's a one-to-one -one exchange, his venoms will still get on second. And actually, Resign Man is getting ahead in this, but he's still moving behind. Doesn't want to risk it. And on the west side of the map, the front is pushing between... The sponge, the sponge is moving forward somewhat, but not able to move forward enough. Both players pretty much at a standstill. And no additional change for the sponge in his build order. Getting outlaws, thugs, and mostly bandits. A roach, however, being built. A couple of roaches actually being sent in. Not making any appreciable difference to the front. And recluses are trying to do what they can, but given that the units can move fairly effectively, it's not going to be a big deal. These recluses can't do too much. Given the hill here, it's just not working. And one of them going down, one of them getting stunned and destroyed by the Hermits. The other one able to escape, but still, that's a huge loss. And another Venom going down. Resign Man doing a great job at taking out what he needs to with the Venoms. And unfortunately, 400 not quite able to keep up in that department. Now, 400 on the other hand does have more vision. He actually is quite aware of what's going on here. As we can see on their side. He is fully aware of this economy here, these defenses here, that lays the turret at least. So he has a lot of knowledge of what's going on, and it looks like he's actually managed to turn it around. Resign Man ending up losing his advantage that he had. He's actually losing that part of the side of the front. 400 able to break through that side. Now on the other hand, we see that Masak not able to break through the sponges side of the front. I'm a little bit surprised he hasn't gone... Actually... It's more surprised he hasn't gone for more units. Oh, no, he's getting for a lot of units. He has caretakers. He has the shield bot. That's not ineffective. I almost wouldn't be surprised if an air factor came in just for napalm strikes to break that front, though. I mean, neither. I mean, it's defender here, but neither player really expecting air. So if either player were to go for it, it wouldn't be a bad idea. However, Mastic only has 14 rival metal. In fact, that means these caretakers are a bad idea. There's no point in having caretakers you can't afford. If you can't afford a unit, then or sorry, you can't afford. Caretakers. And caretakers basically means 10 metal income. Don't bother building them. They aren't going to add anything. They're just going to be draining metal separately. There's really no point. I suppose for redundancy if you get attacked, but getting attacked this far in means something terrible has happened. So, Masuk kind of wasting some money on that. Doesn't really help him out. If he did get more metal, it would help, but at this point he doesn't need that. And really, a nice napalm strike would just take care of all of this, no problem. For the shield bot factory itself, I mean, he could go... F if he goes for an attack and does it cleverly, but there's not really much room to flank and thus be clever, he could deal a fair amount of damage getting rid of these units here, but then again, these stingers would just take a lot of it out. So at this point, this left west side of the front moving slowly, and the east side of the front, 400, able to push himself forward, but neither player able to break the other. And I really think Arians would... No, God, Arians would be a great choice right now. Gunships being built up by Resign Man, there we go, some areas, and a crab coming up, so finally crab being built up, and it looks like we don't see any crabs coming up from 400 simply hermits. Not bad assault units, but crabs are the unit you build a spider factory for. And eight minutes in the game, we see that a crab has been built for, Resi for yes, Resign Man, he does have only one, and he's actually being pushed back in the meantime. It might be the best timing, but on the other hand, he's being pushed back, which means the crab can just stay put and everything will come to it. Because at this point, Resign Man is being attacked, so that's not a bad timing. However, the sponge is pushing forward, possibly unwisely, but Masuk appears to be going in for an attack, and he is, in fact, going for an attack. Get it? 
One of the singers being EMP'd by, oh, of course, Racketeers. Why did I think of this? They're great unit for this shield breaking. However, a Roach was in place for the Sponge and able to take that out. Another Roach is actually in place for the Sponge, I believe. Yes, Roach is for the Sponge and will be probably coming down here. And Maslik losing his commander. The front is going down. Maslik losing his side of the front. A nice try for the attack, but that one Roach took him out, and that was a wonderful play there. That was a very wonderful play. And another Roach coming in. Not quite able to kill the Thug, but able to kill everything else around it. And now that Thug is surrounded by outlaws, that is it. This side of the front is very quickly going down. The Rackets are doing a great job EMPing things out. EMP artillery, very handy unit. But still not enough, and unfortunately caught by this tree here. Not able to do any damage because the tree is just taking all of it. I think, wait, yes, it's EMPing its... No, it's not EMPing itself, but it is still doing nothing. Rogue trying to do what it can, but really at this point, not a lot can be said for it. Infiltrator coming up here trying to... Able to stop the crab, actually. Able to EMP out the crab. And the Rex is able to take it out in the, or damage it in the meantime, but it was in defensive position at the time. However, this is a lot of money for Resign Man to lose. His gunships are not being built up. A Banshee being built up now, but still... That crab was his pride and joy, and it going down means he's going to be behind in this game. Now, a crab, there we go, being built up for 400, and he is in a much better position to support it. Now, the crab able now out of its stun lock, but enough permits in place to get rid of it. Even though it is defending itself, it is not enough. And another spy coming in. Spy doing a great job getting... That crab stunned once again. What side of the map? Not much going on. Just some preparations from the sponge. He is continuing to build up standard rogue out La Thug mix. But Resign Man losing his side of the front. So the front is really kind of shifting towards a north-south from the diagonal. Which is going to be difficult for Mousek and Resign Man, but the sponge still has a bit of a chance. Now Resign Man does have a brawler coming up. Good anti-mass unit. Seen those before. And... At this point, though, mass units isn't really what the concern is. That would help with Masuk, though Masuk isn't building a whole lot right now. In fact, he's quite behind in economy. He only has 11 metal. While 400 has 30 metal income coming in, and Resign Man trying to do what he can with with his... Oh, another Roach coming in here. Able to get rid of the last few units for Masuk, but... And another Roach actually coming down towards Masuk's defenses here, and not able to do too much. Only able to get rid of a tick. Fairly unremarkable. But this spy coming in along the side, just waiting for another crab, and no more crabs are forthcoming. Brawlers are forthcoming, however, and the spy might have a hard time dealing with that. Where is that first brawler, by the way? That is actually not here yet. Doesn't matter. The west side of the front is where all the action is. There is some action coming in. There is some harassment going towards in the north side, but really... At this point, the sponge is just pushing forward into Masuk's front line. His thugs and outlaws are not in position to actually deal with anything, though. A bit surprising. The Racketeers are able to take advantage of the fact that the units are clumped together. Very nice to the Racketeers, but there should be there should be a Roach coming in fairly soon. There is one in the main base, right? A couple in the main base, actually. And there we go. There's that bandit getting rid of some of the fleas. But, of course, everything gets rid of fleas. It's the Hermits that are the real concern, and they are starting to go down. Now, the crab is going to have a hard time. Crabs can't effectively hit air. I'm not even sure they can aim high enough to hit air. But even if they can, they can't effectively hit it. Just because it's moving way too quickly. Able to get rid of a bandit, but that's not what it needs to do. It needs to walk into the base, and it can't do that easily since it does not have defenses while moving. It's 4,000 health while moving. So, both 400 and Resign Man losing their crabs. Resign Man actually able to do more with his than 400 did with his own. But the real story right now is the sponge coming in towards the west side breaking through the front, breaking through the defenses, and going for a very powerful harassment. All these outlaws and thugs coming in are just able to take care of everything. I mean, this laser strip means nothing. The outlaws in behind just slowing, well, slowing everything down to no real effect. The thugs are the, what's going to be dealing the real damage. Assuming they don't kill themselves first. But at this point, that laser turret down, and these windmills also going down. 400 losing his energy economy, also losing a lot of his metal economy, or having lost a lot of his metal economy. Apparently most of it was based on Reclaim, and this Brawler taking out all the Metal Extractors. It's one of the reasons why it's kind of hard to cast 2v2. There's a lot going on. Another Rogue Arbor coming in, getting rid of Masuk's... Actually, Masuk's Rogue getting rid of the Sponge's units, which are way too clumped together. 
like I said, there is way too much going on. But is there more rogues? Yes, there are. Sorry, not rogues. I don't care about rogues. Rogues don't help me right now. Rogues just sort of do their thing. Rogues are just skirmishers. I mean roaches. Roaches, and there are a couple more coming in for the sponge. Masuk, on the other hand, is not building anymore. Nor does he... Well, actually, kind of needs to. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Really, this brawler... These two brawlers are the real problem. Stopping any real advance. And enough fleas at the front line to make sure they know about anything coming in. They will die, but they'll know. So Resign Man has a nice spy line there. These Rocketeers trying to stop the Metal from being constructed from the looks of it. And another Roach able to get rid of most of Masuk's army. So there was that one Roach we saw. And another Roach trap is placed right on this hill. And there we go. There's the Brawlers coming in to take everything out. It looks like it'll be pretty soon before Resign Man and the Sponge just push through. I mean, there's still a chance for Masuk to get out of... Masuk and 400 to get out of this. And there's that second Roach Trap. Not actually doing too much. Just leveling down to the water. So it looks like at this point, those brawlers aren't actually doing too much. They aren't able to kill everything fast enough to get rid of Tarantula's anterior spider. That's, of course, a good choice. And Thug Law coming up from... Sorry, Thug Outlaw mix coming up from Masuk. Well, Thug Bandit mix, actually. And Vandals as well. So definitely prepare for the anti-air. These brawlers still are coming in large enough numbers that it's not going to be too easy to deal with them. And Hermit's coming up for... Resign Man, he's once again back to the Spider Factory. He's once again building for that. Rather, though both, neither team has a whole lot of metal. There's really only 10 metal for each player. There's only one factory's worth of metal to be supported. And yet, three caretakers. Still has those caretakers. I mean, he hasn't... He could reclaim them. What if it wouldn't be a bad idea just to build us more units? Really, at this point, though, what he needs to do... Honestly, getting roaches wouldn't be a bad idea. That... Getting some felons, I don't, he doesn't have enough units to really support felons. You need a lot of shield units, a lot of thugs or a lot of convicts to support that felon, or a few felons. And you want to have them in numbers. Not a bad idea if you can get those numbers for them, but the sponge really has the advantage of numbers compared to Masuk. For crowd control, I really would just recommend getting a few roaches and setting them up just the same way that the sponge has been using quite effectively. Use that to blow through the army and then push forward from there, get rid of the stinger and just push through. Enough anterior units to get rid of the brawlers would be, of course, necessary. But that, still that front line being taken by 400, the fleas aware of what's going on, but 400 slowly but surely pushing in. The brawlers aren't going to be as effective this time. They are known about the tarantulas are in place to deal with them. Defenders as well in place to deal with them. A couple stingers going up for Resign Man. They will be in range to deal with some of the defenders, but there we go. There's a roach coming in for, actually it looked like it was for the sponge. Either way, he did retreat, not able to deal enough damage with that. And felons, thugs coming in. How many felons to a thug? So four thugs, sorry, six thugs to a felon. No, seven thugs to a felon. Not a bad mix, but still rather expensive for the... Build ready has, especially since his economy going under attack. Again, the brawlers, however, retreating once the tarantulas come along. I'm a little bit surprised that Resign Man didn't split his brawlers up. Send some to the north, and then some to the south and east because sorry southwest and some to the northeast because if he had split that up the tarantulas would be in completely out of position along here but at this point they aren't and the defenses here going down the stairs going down 400 very effectively pushing this forward and he builds up i guess now would be a good time for a crab though venoms and recluses would do well as well and the hermits doing a decent job the brawlers in place to get rid of the hermits but the damage has been done that stinger going down was mostly built too so that's a lot of metal that resign man wasted now, Resign Man still has metal advantage and getting rid of the commander for 400. So, at this one, we only have Resign Man's commander alive and. think, anyway. In fact, I'm not even sure if that one's alive. I'm pretty sure that all the commanders are gone. It's 400. 400 and Massac both lost their, lost their commander. I think the Sponge still has his. And the Sponge is actually eating up. For, uh, you got Master's Command right now. And yes, the Sponge still has his commander, but from the looks of it, that is not at all true. For, no, no, it is true for, for Resign Man. So Resign Man and the Sponge, that team, still have their commanders. Not a bad thing at all. Especially for the economy, though. They both went... Or, sorry. That is a support commander for Resign Man. Actually, the support commander for both the Sponge and Resign Man. So they definitely need that more for economy. And another Roach coming in. There we actually don't go. That Roach was not 
for Massac. That was for the Sponge. Along the north side of the map, Resign Man pushing back the Sponge, or pushing back 400 into his own base, into his side of the front. While the Sponge is pushing Massac back as well. And I really don't know why there aren't that many roaches. That just does not make any sense to me. There really should be more of them. A bunch of Rectus is trying to do with the can, but once again, this here hill is getting in the way. The Rectus simply cannot deal with that effectively. Once you guys get over the hill, it's not as big of a deal, but behind the hill, they're just not easy for the Rectus to deal with. And these Weavers, why are they in this position? They are way out of position. 400 needs to move them back, and he's doing exactly that. And more Brawlers coming in, and a Crow coming in. Did not expect to see this in it, any serious game, but at this point, this game has gone on quite some time, so it's not at all surprising. Resign Man does have the money for it, though. It's still taking a while. It's still going to take about three minutes for that to be built. But I wouldn't be surprised if that does get built. Because, okay, the Crow is kind of... It's a major utility unit for the gunship plant, but it's overkill, really. It deals... It has, I think, three heat rays and a big missile... A manual fire missile attack, but it's overkill. Right, really, if you're going to build a Crow, build a Black Dawn instead. Build two Black Dawns. Jump Jet Plant being built up. Why is there Jump Jet I mean, okay, Sumo, I suppose, would be a good reason for Jump Jet Plant. This stage in the game, I could totally see building a Sumo just for pushing through. Brawler's able to get rid of the Felon and able to get rid of the Thugs. No anterior units in range. The Tarantula is finally coming in range, but the main target, that Felon, has been destroyed. The Recluses, however, are another major target, which were not damaged in that attack. The Tarantula's getting in the way too much. I'm a bit surprised the Brawler didn't just go for it and deal with the Tarantula's. Not totally surprised, but still a bit surprised. Bandits, however, doing the biggest harassment job. In fact, they should be able to flank just fine, get rid of the tarantulas, and open the door for the brawlers. Unfortunately, they are getting into the Lotus Path. They are able to get rid of it, but still in that path. And the thugs can be able to deal with He needs to move under the shields, needs to get under those shields, and deal with those thugs directly. Not doing so. Instead, well, going for harassment, not a bad idea. Getting rid of the redundant caretakers. Though, once again, like I said, if your opponent gets this far, it's still a bad thing. Granted... The fact that those caretakers were redundant, no, it didn't pay off. No. I mean, the fact that they're there is kind of nice. The fact that one of them is there, I don't know, it might have paid off. He doesn't have any workers here. He doesn't need any workers. There he is, the tower. I still don't support that decision. It's generally a bad idea to overbuild those things. It makes any prioritization harder. Crow is one and a half minutes left until that comes out. The brawlers tearing apart the units they can and the harassment they can, but the tarantula is actually doing a lot of damage, and these brawlers... Not going for it. I'm starting to say I can't blame them. There aren't enough of them at this point from the looks of it. Well, no, there should be enough of them. If they if they went in, it probably would be a suicide attack. But if they went in... Actually, no, a suicide attack would be a bad idea with brawlers. Okay, I can see, I can see the reasoning there. And... Double check for roaches, since I've been missing so many roach attacks, it's just embarrassing. It does not appear that... Oh, no, it does appear that there is a roach for Masuk being sent up towards this front... While he's attacking towards the east, nice misdirection there, though he doesn't appear to actually be using it. He has it in place, but he's not using it yet. He does have these recklesses coming in, and they are able to... Actually, a lot of recklesses. Very nice there. They are able to get rid of these weavers that were doing some reclaim for Resign Man. And his crow is now two minutes away from completion, having increased the amount of time left just because he doesn't have a lot of time. And there we go. This road trap will soon be sprung on these bandits. Will it be enough? Actually, will they be in range when it goes off? And there we go! It is going off, getting rid of all the bandits. Finally caught one of the roach attacks on camera. Nicely done there, Massac. Like, nice defense there. And the front here on the north side is actually being pushed pretty well, but at this point, it doesn't almost doesn't matter. We see that Resign Man Ghost going for harassment with the Brawlers. Looks like he's trying to finish off all these power units, get rid of all the infrastructure, try to get rid of everything, really. Distracting with fleas and attacking directly with Brawlers. And able to get rid of a fair amount of the wind generators, half the wind generators, and one of the metal extractors. Half the wind generators on the south side, I should say. About five or six of them. Still quite a few on the east side of the map. And the flea is actually doing a decent job against the tarantulas. But they will be taken out fairly quickly. The outlaws really will just tear them to shreds. Still a nice distraction play. And the brawlers are now doing what they really need to do, which is get rid of those recluses. And that they are doing especially well. There they go. Those recluses are going down without any real fight, trying to do what they can, but they just do not have accurate enough weapons. However, Tarantula almost getting rid of the Brawler. Brawler at 419 health, that would have been probably two more shots before it was down. 
And no more roaches. Once again, we don't have any roaches coming up here. There's a roach in Q, but I really would just say... You can put in... If you hold Alt, you put in units at the start of the queue, right after the unit that's currently being produced, if it's an infinite build. Otherwise, you replace it if it's not an infinite build. And I say just hold Alt and hit... Hit the roach hockey as many times as you need to get a bunch of roaches. And it looks like that's exactly what the sponge has done. In fact, the sponge... Yeah, it appears to be exactly what he's done. So, he is... Nicely set up. He has a bunch of roach traps, and one of them looks like it's ready to go off. And if it doesn't, then the rest of them certainly will. And at the same time, we see that there is a small harassment over to the north, and looks like 400 trying to set up. And here we are. Here's that crow I was talking about. As the roach trap is sprung, half the units for Masso going down, and the crow is going to be taking care of these recklesses. And no, it's lasers, not heat rays. What was I thinking? Three lasers on there, and a massive missile attack on manual attack, which isn't even being used, doesn't even need to use it yet. But I'm sure he will once he gets into the main base. And the road traps, none of them being sprung yet, none of them actually being pushed in to get rid of these shield bots, the crow just going for it. And the enemy team resigning, the crow not even getting to use his big powerful attack. But, oh it's a bomb attack, well still. The point is, you don't see crows very much. And another crow being built up. You don't see them very much. They are not particularly effective units for their cost, considering that they take a hell of a long time to build. But in a 2v2 like this, it finishes the game. It's a game ender. And it worked. So I hope you enjoyed that. I apologize for missing so many exciting moments in that cast. Like, all the roach traps. Keep my eye out for those. Keep my eye on the minimap for those ones. Gotta remember about that. And of course, 2v2 is chaotic, as it tends to be, but... Figured I would try that one out, had been requested as well, and show off more than just the 1v1 aspect of the game. I hope you enjoyed that, and that is going to be it for tonight. So, have a good night, everybody.